family and I have lived here in Butterfield Stage for six years, a little over six years now. We bought right after my son was born, and now my daughter was born here, so now I have two children. Um, four years ago, I requested that we no longer spray chemicals on the grass, and, and had support for that. Um, I knew of Turtle Lake Refuge and what they were doing, um, I believe, at that time over at Brookside Park. So I had that in my head that, okay, there's an alternative, we can do this. Um, but the first two years, we didn't, we didn't really do anything to keep up the grass. We, you know, we kept watering and mowing and that was it. And um, so now this is the fourth year and the dandelions have come up and um, so a lot of the owners that I've heard from are saying, you know, if I go to try to sell my place and there are a bunch of dandelions, that's going to hurt my ability to sell my condo. I think it could actually be a selling point that we are a condo complex that is chemical free and, and that could be a selling point for people looking to buy here. Um, but what I've heard from other owners who, who are for spraying chemicals is that, um, that they own their own homes and they spray their yard and their exact words are, I have sprayed my, my yard for years and I have a beautiful yard with no ill effects. We have several residents who are pregnant right now, so the thought of these pregnant women being exposed to chemicals is, is pretty disturbing to me, and they're, they're unborn children. Um, we have nursing mothers here, and the, the amount of pesticides that are found in breast milk um, is pretty alarming, even in, even in women who don't spray their own yard. So, you know, you're exposed whether you want to be or not. And so if we can decrease that as much as possible, I think that's it's it's our job to do that. It's our moral obligation to do that. Um, but the chemicals that are used, in particular, 2,4-D, um, a neurotoxin. I don't want my children exposed to that, and I don't see dandelions being a reason why they should be exposed to that. To me, it's important that this park is chemical free, so that parents don't have to think twice about their kids rolling in the grass, eating grass, running in bare feet, so parents can just relax while their kids enjoy being outside. I'm a friend of Rebecca's mm -hmm. who lives here at the subdivision and we are part of a play group of moms and kids who've been getting together for over six years now since our oldest were just little babies and so she just asked if we would come over and help and this is a cause that is important to all of us and um, and especially knowing that if the dandelions are not out to a sufficient degree that the homeowners will spray and that would be just a real bummer for the kids that use this area.